we're going to do now is we're going to collect a payment. Previously, we had invoiced a payment for $960. We billed the customer. And here you can see the sale for $960 in our chart of accounts. And here you can see accounts receivable. That's the money that's owed to us, $960. The next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to collect the money. Let's say we get a check for $960 from this customer. I'll go to business, customer, process payment. Under customer, write the name of the customer. Under invoice, select your invoice. There it is. Under number, you want to write their check number. Now you need to select the account where you're actually going to deposit the money. So let's say I'm going to deposit it into my checking account. I'll click on checking account. And that's it. Now you can see the new chart of accounts and $960 is in the checking account and no longer in accounts receivable. If we look at our balance sheet, here you can see on the balance sheet that I have $960 in cash. And as I previously recorded it, I also have $960 in sales on my income statement. Right there.